Okay, we're going to, um, I'm, I'm doing a watercolor today. Uh, normally on all my videos I do, uh, <clears throat> you see me painting on porcelain, uh, uh, porcelain pieces and uh, with the porcelain paint and I just thought I would vary it a little bit um, and um, do the eye on this um, these are some um, lemurs and I'm working on this main guy first here and well, I'm doing his eyes and his face first so I thought I would share this with you um, okay um, I'm gonna put his eye in I'm just working on a uh, 300 pound watercolor paper um, with regular watercolors uh, transparent watercolors and um, We'll put his eye in first and then go into this uh, area around his eye. So I'm going to push it up here so we can see more of it. I have it zoomed in pretty closely so that you can see. Uh, I'm going into the yellow and a gold to set it in with first. And because it's uh, kind of orangey, but yet it's got a lot of gold in there too. So, <clears throat> so I'm going to just block that in and mainly just his eyeball, okay, with some yellow. Then I'm gonna go in to add a little bit of orange and darker gold and <clears throat> I'm going to go over his, he does have a shadow on top, but that doesn't matter right now. I'm going to go ahead and block his whole eye, leaving his highlight. Block that in. Okay, so it's nice and light and bright. You don't want to get too dark, you know, right right off hand so um, while it's drying just a little bit I'm going to go into the uh, orange and orange and um, with a dryer brush and a little bit of brown and I'm going to put some on the very top of this I don't have a lot of water okay and while it's still a little bit wet so that it won't make a real hard edge up above there. And then I'm going to add some more orange down here. It's drying more. It's kind of an orangey brown, but see. Getting a little bit darker. This is too light. I'm going to add some brown. Okay, I think that's just about right as far as value. Then up here at the top. I'm going to darken this. It's drying pretty good. So, and in watercolors, you want to sneak up on it. Okay, I think I... Now, on this outside of his eye, I am going to use a blue. 
I'm going to use a blue and a brown. It's kind of a reddish brown. Blue and a reddish brown. <coughs> and I'm going to start in this area around his eye. And it's pretty dark. A little bit more. I'm going to use a, like a black. There you go. Black blue. around his eye. Don't get into his eye too much because that, that will, if it's wet, that will mess it up. And I'm going to come down the side of his eye right over here. I'm going to hug his eye real close. And get in. I'm not going to come up to the edge because I'm going to put some brown in there. Okay. This top part of his eye, I'm going to pull just a little bit with the dry brush out. Blend this with the dry brush just a little bit. Then, while it's still wet, very lightly, I'm going to pull a little bit of blue. Right next to that black. And also over here, a little bit of blue right next to that black. And also underneath here, a little bit of blue next to that black. So that it merges just a little bit, but... Okay, right now it looks like it's just pasted on, doesn't it? Okay, so... <clears throat> let's take our little liner here and let's take our dark brown can you get it next up here here we go all right now there's a very dark shadow over over his eye and I'm gonna make it's a little bit wet so let me take a little bit of water out of it. And this is the inside of his eye. And I'm going to pull that brown right underneath that eye. And right on top. And that's the corner of his eye. Okay. Right. Now, oh, oh excuse me. Now, <clears throat> it 
it's still very light on underneath that shadow. So in a minute, I'm going to pull some more dark underneath there, but right now I'm going to get this corner of his eye, the depth or the where it's dark, right in there, so it sets that back, and right up here. All right, now we still have his little um, the hair, you know that you that you see, and it's also his little eyelashes. So you're going to be able to put some of those in. Now I did go ahead and put the shadows that set his this is the top of his uh, nose and then this is where the shadows start his eye starts to sink in so you see these pink and green these uh, real light sh uh, values of color all um, <clears throat> on here that uh, kind of set his eye eyeball in so your little tiny brush can come and make these little hairs. I'm going to soften this a little bit. Okay. All right. And now I'm going to put some brown in that top of his eye. Just that little shadow. right up in here and that's where his lid cast a shadow in his eye see that's better now this is a hard edge right here so I'm going to scrub out with a very with my brush that's not very doesn't have very much water on it but has a little tiny bit so that I can lift up some of that paint. Okay, see that accentuates his eyelid. And you can smooth it down. All right. So there's his eye. See? There's his eyes. So now I'm going to start working on his nose. And I may let you in on when I start some of his fur. Um, he ha also has a little uh, highlight that is down. Um, you can see it right here. I don't know, but he, he has a little a, a glisten right there on the corner of his eye. So if you didn't get that, and it's difficult to, uh, then you can use a, an opaque um, white. When, when it gets dry, and you can put that little white glisten in like that. Okay, and that was just with some white watercolor or some ink.